Hi Nipun, how are you? I'm fine, Rakesh. How are you? I'm absolutely fine. Thank you. Can you tell us something about yourself? Yeah, hi. Myself, Nipun. Uh, I did a dual, I did dual MBA in operations and marketing. And I have experience of six years, overall six years, and out of which I have a experience of two years in manual testing. And I'm working currently, I'm working with a room dotting. Uh, actually, this is the uh, company of uh, e-commerce, which uh, sold out or which uh, belongs to the automobile industries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I am uh, from engineering team. Okay. So I saw your CV and you have six years of experience. Out of that four yeah. years of experience, you are holding in finance domain. And two years of experience, you are holding in software testing. So... Why did you went for a change? Why, why are you looking to make your career in software testing? Yeah, uh, Rakesh, uh, basically in 2020, uh, after the COVID, uh, com many companies sh are shutting down the processes. Mm -hmm. uh, only the IT sector is uh, groomed up or booming up. So that's why I did a manual course uh, uh, from Chroma uh, of uh, manual testing. Mm -hmm. Uh, so afterwards, I will uh, I move to a technology team and software engineering team. Okay, great. So you have got a working experience in performance testing using JMeter tool. So can you please elaborate, elaborate. how you are performing that testing? Uh, JMeter. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, uh, I'm so sorry for that. Uh, I have uh, don't have experience in JMeter. Okay. that is performance okay no worries so let me just share my screen so uh, okay so is my screen visible yeah 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 so see uh, if you don't have experience in performance testing then uh, you will have to update this line right because first of all uh, in the experience summary itself people will ask you the questions right you told you sure. have a course in manual testing so that is good right sound knowledge so mobile testing okay you have mobile testing right so maybe you can update or you can remove or you can you know uh, take care of this line okay okay so you have got working experience in mobile testing as well so uh, can you please uh, elaborate what kind of mobile testing you are doing uh, actually uh, rakesh we have a sales uh, in every week like we sold out uh, many uh, helmets and car perfumes uh, at the uh, web applications in mobile and android so we do uh, testing regarding uh, regarding to the mobiles so we will uh, i will check uh, verify i will check or verify that landscapes uh, and portrait uh, portrait applications mm -hmm. and moreover uh, also uh, when calls come and uh, like Suppose users uh, is uh, ordering or ordering some helmets or uh, car perfumes. So uh, in the mean uh, meantime, uh, he got uh, he got a uh, uh, calls. So the application uh, has been shut down or not. Okay. So these are the basic scenarios. I'll check and. Uh, testing that uh, the application uh, will work in landscape or uh, portrait mode. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. So uh, whenever this question is asked you in an interview, this was good. You were telling about scenarios. You can also elaborate like which are the various, um, um, you know, platforms that you have tested. Like you are testing on tablets, Android phones, iPhones, iOS devices. Okay. So yeah. those kind of things you can add on. And simultaneously, you can also add the testing process, right? Like how is yeah. uh, how is the user story delivered to you for testing? For example, you might be getting some partial uh, user acceptance criteria in testing for day one. In day two, you will get some more two points. At the end of the week, you will get the full story for end-to-end -end testing. So this kind of things you have to add. Then second thing is in mobile testing, are you doing only manual testing or you are doing automation as well? So that thing also you can add. And after telling about the process, after telling about the tools that you are using for 
performing test performing mobile testing then you can cover all these kind of scenarios again in scenarios you can cover first positive and then you can cover negative scenario. negative yeah okay. so those things you can cover okay what do you know about jira Jira actually, uh, Jira is a bug tracking tool or a project management tool. Uh, uh, basically, uh, we will use Jira to defect the uh, to resolve the defects or the bugs uh, in the software development. Like uh, this is uh, the platform or this is the portal uh, from which we will uh, resolve the defects uh, efficiently in a systematic manner, so mm -hmm. that. Uh, basically the coordination of the uh, between the teams internal teams or the project managers and the clients so will uh, more effective okay through this tool so do you write test cases in jira yeah okay do you use any um, third party plugin or any jira plugin for writing test cases or mm -hmm. yeah no Okay. Actually, um, my organization is a, a product-based organization. Mm -hmm. So we will uh, uh, we have we have a internals uh, portals as well. Mm -hmm. So there is no. Okay. So how will you create an issue in Jira? Let's say you found out a defect. So how will you create a ticket in Jira? Uh, Jira, uh, when I, I will find the defect uh, so there is a drop down called uh, epic or uh, defect mm -hmm. okay so i will uh, i i always uh, um, make a uh, make a defect with a uh, normal or a medium uh, medium uh, functionality medium uh, issue okay. that is a priority uh, I will always basically this is the uh, standard rule of the organization that mm -hmm. you you will provide a normal uh, medium cri uh, critical functionality or a priority. Mm -hmm. okay. So uh, I also attached some documents or some uh, screenshots and videos as well, so mm -hmm. that a product team uh, will uh, will not have a problem to uh, resolve the defect as a, as soon as possible. No. So how will you take a decision whether a particular defect has to be fixed in current sprint or it has to be fixed in uh, in future so you will keep it in sprint backlog. Yeah. So how will you take that decision? Uh, can you come again? Sorry. Yeah. Let's say you found out a defect while testing a yeah. user story. Now you are logging a defect in the Jira. Now you have to identify on at which particular time duration, whether in this sprint or in previous sprint or in future, sorry, not previous sprint or in future sprint, it would be fixed. So how will you take up that decision? Okay. Uh, basically, uh, in every in every week, uh, we will uh, we will have a sanity or uh, we have a build. So basically, uh, it depends on me or my project manager. I will discuss with my manager. So. Uh, we will make a decision together. What is the priority or, or a severity? What is severity of the bug? Mm -hmm. So severity priority is your decision, but the fixing of the defect, and you mentioned very rightly, you will be collaborating with the team members, maybe your team leads, team managers, yeah. or maybe sometime the you will you can involve dev team as well. So that will be mm -hmm. a bug triaging meeting, and if you yeah. think that this bug is a current user stories bug then you will mark it in the current sprint only for example sprint mm -hmm. 2 is running so you will mark it as sprint 2 if you feel this is a bug which has been a byproduct of the feature that was already released in sprint 1 then you will have a discussion with the few important team members mm -hmm. and you will mark them accordingly right yeah. okay now let's say if i want to search some particular defect in jira so how will you perform that search Uh, um, sorry, uh, searching Jira. Yeah, yeah. Search. Uh, let's say there is a defect that has been already. You want to know whether it has been already logged by some other team member or not. 
So how will you search that particular defect card in Jira? Okay. Always uh, there is a unique ID in the Jira. Mm -hmm. Like suppose defect ID, like suppose we will always uh, uh, always log the bug uh, with a test or TC underscore one, two, three, or uh, with uh, some dates or some uh, with uh, sales lives. Like suppose uh, we have a sale uh, on 31st of October. So we will always log the bug that uh, TC underscore uh, 31st, mm. 2022. So we will uh, search this, uh, search this uh, defect with this okay. particular, particular ID. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, so you can also do search by particular ID, but if you are not able to recall or if you are not able to trace the ID, then let me share my screen. So is my screen visible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, there are two kinds of search options in Jira. One is basic search and one is advanced search. Advanced. Yeah. You can also search based on the filters, right? Filters. And you can also search the issues reported by me. And you can all you can click on all the issues or click on open issues and you can perform search over here, right? Whichever project is there, what is the issue type? This is and the another search option is also there, right? Mm -hmm. This is yeah. how you can uh, write a query also over here, right? So accordingly, mm -hmm. all the defects that would have been locked would get displayed. Yeah. Yeah. is good um, okay how do you perform database and system testing database uh, testing uh, through uh, i will test the uh, testing through the database uh, like suppose uh, with the queries of dml and ddl Mm -hmm. and some coding knowledge i also have mm -hmm. also have basically i have a, a basic uh, knowledge of a database testing that uh, what the query runs and where the from where we have to find the queries like uh, in ddl and insert option mm -hmm. and uh, undo and what is the difference between uh, uh, between uh, delete and undo Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you mean by outer join and what is the meaning of inner join? Inner join and outer join. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm so sorry. No issues. See, this is a mock interview. Even if yeah. you're not, um, you know, aware about the answer of any interview question it is fine but this question can be asked to you in a real-time interview so we will answer uh, we will provide you the answer of this question and these kind of database related questions will be definitely asked to you because it is mentioned in your resume that you are performing database testing and system testing okay now first of all let us focus on sql full outer join keyword okay so the outer join um, so we asked you the question on outer join and inner join. So outer join keyword will return all the records whenever there is a match in, uh, let's say two tables are there. Okay. One is table okay. one and one is table two. So whenever yeah. there is a match in table one or in table two, so all the records will be returned to you as the output. If you are using SQL outer join, right? Yeah. While inner join is the uh, mechanism that will help you to select records that have matching values in both the tables, right? Okay. So, yeah, so uh, if you want, I can help you. Okay. Is uh, is my screen visible now? No. Mm. Now? Yes. Okay. Yes. So this is inner join. Okay. Whatever the green portion is there, that will be the output. In case of outer join, and I'll show you outer join also. 
just give me a second. now is it visible yeah okay so you can see this is your outer join it will potentially return all the large result sets and this is how you can be asked to write a query as well you might be given two tables in an interview and you will be asked to write a query using outer join Okay. Uh, what is the difference between primary key and foreign key? Primary key and foreign key? Hmm. Mm, sorry, I don't have the knowledge. Okay, no worries. So let this be an open question for the people who are watching this video. What is the difference between okay. primary key and foreign key? And if possible, please give some uh, proper real-time examples in the comment of this video, right? Okay. How many test cases do you write every day? In uh, test cases? In do a day? Write, yeah. Do you write every day? Do you develop? So you will be developing test cases, right? Yeah. So how many? My, oh. It is uh, it is depends on the uh, whether it is depend on the sale uh, and uh, also uh, internal portal. So might be it is three or two mm -hmm. four or maximum five. Okay. So three to four test cases you are uh, writing every day. Okay. okay. So whenever this question is asked to you in an interview, you can tell that it depends on the complexity of the story, user story or complexity of the feature. For example, it might happen that um, you might be able to write 10 to 15 test cases in a day, or maybe sometimes you are able to write 20 to 25, or sometimes you are able to write five to six test cases only. So always give the answer for this kind of question in the form of range and let it be, uh, you can also give, uh, you know, the question, the answer in the form of, like, it depends on like this, right? It depends on situation, depends on this kind of scenario, okay? Because whenever you will tell three to four test cases, so the next question might come up to you is, okay, so you have eight hours. So in eight hours, you are writing only three to four test cases. Then again, you will explain, no, no, okay, this is what I'm doing. This is what, so, okay. So how many hours you are dedicated to test case? So then it's kind of, you know, the question will go to the depth level. So rather than that, to have a win-win situation over the interviewer and to also convince them with your answer, you have to give the answer in the form of range. Yeah, that's why mm -hmm. I, uh, I'm saying that it depends on the sale. Yes. Okay. Sales. Okay. Sales. Yeah. Actually, we have a sales uh, in every week. In every week. So when you say sales, so let's say you are uh, relating it to the release or some sort of build that you are getting. Yeah. 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 We are getting uh, software builds mm. in every week. Like suppose sometimes we will got uh, on Monday, Tuesday. So after three or four days, the sale will be live for the. Uh, on the platform. Okay. So let's say your management takes a decision on Monday and mm -hmm. by Thursday or Friday, you are providing release as well. Right. They will take a decision on Monday and on Thursday or Friday, you have to complete testing. So is that the end to end testing life cycle in your company? Yeah. yeah, yeah. End to end functionality or proper uh, functionality. Okay. Okay. So you will do the development and you will perform testing and you will release it. You will make it live in the same week. Yeah. Okay. So very small cycle of testing is there. Yeah. That, that's why that's why. Mm. Okay. Okay. So what is the most challenging testing situation you have faced and how did you overcome it? Yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, one of the times uh, in 2021, mm -hmm. so I have a less, exp less experience in that time. Mm -hmm. 
so and more pressure as well because of the covid so mm -hmm. we will we have a uh, some uh, sale on uh, uh, on we and we have a less time so i will uh, i am perform uh, the testing uh, over the night uh, for uh, regular 3 days uh, mm -hmm. that's why after that we uh, we will the sale is live yeah so i remember that uh, that uh, time mm -hmm. okay so this is a very good thing that uh, you actually perform testing during the night time and yeah. so what you can uh, modify this answer in an interview is that there was uh, a problem with the planning of the product release that was done and because okay. of a lot of testing was pending and i was uh, solely responsible for performing testing at that time so i went uh, beyond the limit and i performed testing during night time after working full day as well right so this is how okay. you can uh, you know add on this kind of answer okay so how many yeah. team members are working with you uh currently it is uh they are three, three members. okay so you are totally four members of a qa team yeah yeah okay now consider a scenario where uh two members of your team are working in another project and two members along with you are working in project so let's say they are working in project a and you and one of your team member are working in project b right okay. now what happens is the project a it's a client based project and the client tells you don't need to work on that development or testing so that project needs to be shut down so those two members of project a are shifted to perform testing of project b now how will you ensure that those two members because they were working in another project they don't have a detailed kind of knowledge of your project so how will you ensure that they become productive as soon as possible okay okay uh, so i will uh, check and i will uh, i will check uh, in the morning and uh, taking a regular follow ups mm -hmm. and uh, always uh, guiding them to if, uh, like suppose uh, they are uh, find the defects in the in functionality so i will check Uh, with myself and my manager as well yeah and also uh, i am always a uh, guide uh, give a give the guidance to them so that they will uh, so we will um, make a coordination better and better more and resolve the defects okay the very first thing that you have to plan over here is sir kt knowledge transfer of your project to them maybe in the yeah. form of recorded videos or maybe you can have a one on one session with them and explain them the basic flow of the application second thing is you can also ask them to go through the test cases what kind of test cases are been written what kind of test data you are using for testing right um, then what kind of testing you are performing right? is it manual automation again in manual functional non functional what kind of testing you are performing then fourth is you can also ask them to go through all the defects that have been logged so far so they will come yeah. to okay this kind of defects you are getting in the projects will come yeah yes so this is how you can make sure that they get productive as soon as possible okay. yeah. now uh, let's twist this question a bit uh, there are two projects project a and project b okay now in project a two of your team members are working and they are performing testing they have got a release and they have got a, a strict timeline strict deadline by which they have to complete their work in your project also there is a release coming up you came to know that there will be a release in this week right and one of your team members of your project is on leave he is on sick leave so how will you manage the work because those two people cannot come and help you and at the same time your team member who was uh, sharing the task with you who was sharing the workload with you is on sick leave right so how will you make sure that the release is done timely and without any compromise in the quality okay 
uh i will uh, provide my uh, full uh, capacity or full bandwidth with uh, with the project uh, and moreover i will um, give a overtime overtime to the company so that we will make the testing um, testing to be done uh, on timely and yeah efficiently and more effectively as well okay so this is one of the aspect right you will have to work maybe one or two hours more or maybe uh, no. you will have to you know spend some extra time for the testing but over here you will have to work on the test strategy so what is test strategy you will identify the critical test scenarios first critical, oh yeah, yeah. and you will execute priority. yes based yeah. on the priority high medium low hmm. right so those things you will take up first second thing is you can also have a word with the uh, team management or test manager test manager or test lead that you need some help in testing so maybe what would happen is any one junior developer or developer who is already completed the coding work can come up and help you right maybe not for executing all the test cases but yes for some unique test cases that you feel should be executed first right third thing is uh, again if the automation is already there you can get that automation up and running executed via devops pipeline via jenkins but if you are not having automation if it's a complete manual testing uh, cycle to be executed then you will see that which are the impacted areas for example there are 10 features in your product out of 10 features okay. they have performed the development or they have done some updation only in four features so those four features would be your priority for testing so remaining six features is the next priority so if you get time or if you don't get time so you will perform basic smoke test but no need to perform sanity test end-to-end -end test in those six features you can perform smoke mm -hmm. testing and for the four features in which the development has been done you can perform good detail level of testing in four features so this is how you can save your time without getting burning out right so this is how you have to explain your test strategy in an interview Okay, what is the difference between test case and test scenario? Test case and test scenario. Mm -hmm. Okay, actually, test case uh, is a is a document which explains the scope and objective and approach of the software. Whereas a uh, test uh, test scenario is uh, is a document uh, which explains uh, like how uh, testing needs to be done. Mm. yeah and basically uh testing uh test case uh test plan uh can uh, can be changed whereas uh test scenario cannot be changed okay so what the points you were telling is about test strategy and test planning right the difference between test strategy and test plan well see test scenario is more of like is a one-liner statement right it can be um you have to tell in a very nutshell in a very summary what you will be testing right you have to uh, if you have very less time for performing testing then you will write the test scenarios and you will perform testing while test cases are uh, you know end to end kind of uh, documentation that you will do like what inputs you will uh, enter for performing testing what would be the actual result what would be the expected result what is the test scenario you are going to test so test case is a detailed kind of um, documentation while test scenarios are single line documentation right test case is working on the fundamentals like how you have to perform testing while test scenarios is basically more uh, related to the things that are to be tested right so test cases again as you have to go for detailed level of documentation it requires more resources more time while test scenario is a single line thing so it will require less resources and less time okay so you have to identify the difference between test case test scenario test strategy test planning right so these kind of things can be asked to you okay okay nipun i am done with the interview do you have any questions for me no that is thank yeah. so thank you so much uh, nipun for uh, joining uh, us today on this channel for mock interview and sorry for getting late right i think i was late for three to four minutes due to the audio issue right no. so
yeah thank you so much and wish you all the thank best thank you so much thank you so much